Hi, and welcome to Upcycle My Stuff. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to make a dog toy out of the seams from some old denim jeans. So you might have cut your jeans up um, to use in different kinds of projects. I've made quilts and bags um, and all sorts of things with them. But the bit that usually gets left over, besides the pockets, which I also have projects for, is these long seams. Um, so that's a bit on like the inner leg or sometimes the crotch area. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make a super simple dog toy with these. What I've got is three long seams from basically, the, it's basically the, uh, the inseam um, from adult jeans. So it's all the way um, along the crotch and in the inside seams. Those are the big thick, so that's you can get one big long piece um, so these, I measured these are about 62 inches, about 158 centimeters. Doesn't have to be exactly that. I'm just, uh, just telling you so you know roughly how long these ones are. Um, and so I've got three, they're from three different pairs of jeans, so they're not going to be exactly the same length. And see, they're not. So one is quite a bit longer. So what I'm going to do is hold them like this and try and even out because we're starting in the middle. So we basically want to just make that longer piece the same amount longer on either side. So they're just eyeballing it a bit like that. So you can see that? Okay, so that's where we're gonna start. So we're go we're, what we're trying to do is make one of those um, tug, uh, sort of tugging toys. So you hold onto one ha uh, hand with like a handle and the other end the dog has got in its mouth. Uh, I don't have dogs now, but when I was um, a child, I had one and he definitely loved these kind of tug toys. Um, so we start here. So we're going to leave. We're going to, what we're going to do is go to one end. Again, we're kind of just eyeballing. So we're trying to make these two ends roughly the same. I'm spreading. I can't see where my hands are spreading. I'll bring them back in in a minute. Spreading my hands out. And so let's say from about... My nose to the table, I think, is where I want to clip these. So I'm going to get, if you have a great big, like, bulldog clip or something, that would work. I'm just using a little um, sewing clip. And I'm just going to check again that I've got, so I'm putting my nose on the longest bits hitting the ground. And that's fine. And then I'm going to clip. <clears throat> so I'm just going to clip one. I'm going to clip these three separate ones because what I'm going to do is braid or, or plait the bit in the middle. So what I want to do here, I'll just show you in a second, is show me where to stop braiding, right? So I've got three here, whereas on this side, I've got one holding them together, okay? So I'm going to turn it this way. So the three are facing towards me and this loose end is facing away. And I'm going to put something a little bit heavy on top of that end just to stop it from moving. So I'm going to go with this book. <clears throat> so I'll just put that down on top. Okay. And so now we're just going to braid these. So just like braiding hair, just one on top of the other. Okay. And you just braid all the way until you get to your other three clips. Just be careful not to knock those clips off while you're braiding. Okay, and here I am at my opposite clips. So now what you do is, so you've got your braid a bit in the middle and then you just bring these ends together and you should have this braided loop, which is the bit you hold on to. If you think it's too big, you could unbraid a bit. If you do that, do it on each end. And then we're gonna braid the tug bit here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put my book again on top of the end of that loop that I've made. And I'm going to take out these three clips that were my rough guide where to stop. And then I'm going to take out the one clip here 
that is holding that end where I started. And so now I've got these two ends. Try to angle that. Right, now I've got these two ends here. And what I'm going to try and do is braid them together. So I'm taking the one from the middle. Doesn't matter exactly which one, but for me, I take the one from the middle or the one side and the edge of the other side and make that into one and then braid the in, the outside in. And then if you can see this other bit, which is basically the other outside and the other outside and the inside from the other side, and that's going to go all the way over both of them like that. And then I'm going to braid basically, so I'm taking two and two. So we've got six pieces now braiding, <coughs> but I'm still braiding it like it's three. So I'm taking two at a time and braiding it together. So then you get to about this end here. So you've got a bit of scraggly bits, but you can't really go any further. But you've got a bit of a longer one. So then we're going to just tie it off at the end using that longer bit. So I'm putting it all the way around and looping it through itself and tying it tight. Really tight. <laughs> Talking about dogs here. And then I like to tie another two in here. And that's me tied tight at the end, I think. Yeah, that's good. And then I just want to trim these ends a little bit just to make them a similar length. So. And there we go. There is our tug dog toy. Super easy. Um, it's quite stretchy because this one's made with stretch jeans. Um, so the dog can really tug it. You can really hold it. Um, but they are strong because they're the seams from your jeans. So they were holding it up. Again, you can make this bit smaller if you like a shorter loop and a longer tug. And um, yeah, they make great. I'm going to give this one as a gift to a friend because I don't have a dog just now. Um, and I just think it's a great way of using up every last little bit of your jeans. Um, so I've got other tutorials and videos. So please uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I've got tutorials about how to use the pockets and other bits, as well as all sorts of different kind of upcycling projects. It's not all jeans. But uh, thank you for spending some time with me. And hopefully I'll see you again.